Good afternoon everybody. This is Mohammad Nisa, Chief Embryologist. It's a Sunday today and it is a blastocyst day. Today I'm going to discuss about two cases which are typically difficult cases. So I'm, I have one good news, then I have a bad news and it is a shocking news actually. So why it is shocking? I'm going to explain in my video and it is a really very interesting cases. My first case I am just going to uh, discuss a case, a patient with, just focus here, a patient with patient with a severe oligoasthenospermia and it is a frozen. I just uh, very, um, I could not convince to do ICSI because it is a very difficult case. The husband is outside India and I told the lady it is going to be a very difficult. Since I have a uh, experience in the non-donor work because we are using the sperm whatever available uh, sperm quality whether it is a cryptozoospermia or difficult cases or half cut sperm or uh, uh, removing the sperms from the globosospermia. So this is uh, how I have experienced my past because it's my major experience in uh, non-donor work. So that is the skills I am using. I am trying to do my best out of the, out of uh, whatever the sperm quality available and the outcome I am going to show you and it is a very good outcome we got. We got less embryos, less blastocysts, but it is implantable blastocysts. Out of this very poor case, 10% motility and less than 1% morphology. And if you do research or whatever, DNA fragmentation, ROS, whatever, um, people will say, oh, this is very go going to be a very difficult case. Since I have no option, I don't have an option. So I have to use these skills. Okay, now I'm going to show you the embryos of a patient. Few, few eggs are not fertilized. So by God's grace, This is the one blastocyst about to hatch 5 AA. You, I want to show you. Oh, let it settle. Very beautiful PC cells. This is inner cell mass. Inner cell mass is directly related to the outcome of clinical pregnancy. The, the research says the Gardner profile criteria. And I want to show you the second embryos. Hopefully this is also maximum. It's a, you can say for AB. And th this is this is this embryo has got arrested. So we have a we have a the 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 good thing is we got a one cycle blastocyst. We are going to transfer these two blastocysts, not to take much chance. And it's really good one. Okay, now I am going to remove this video, I mean this patient and I am going to discuss about another case. Faisal, how much time we have spent in this video? 4.45 seconds. Okay, we will cut short that second one. Guys, there is another case. The case is, we have a highly qualified couple with a 35 plus age group. 
first cycle we did in, in hoping that embryo pooling will be done. So in embryo pooling we got single oocyte with the, we uh, we collected single oocyte fertilized and beautiful blastocyst uh, uh, beautiful egg cell we we did not because it is the first time we we uh, so it's um, 35 plus couple then we decided not to go for blastocyst frozen then then the the patient got covid and my, his his previous semen analysis mind blowing sperm count i i have posted that video in my linkedin so you can go and my linkedin and you can see that sperm the video is the beautiful morphology count it's uh, eye candy for any embryologist or andrologist to see that beautiful recording of that uh, that video of semen analysis then he got a covid attack so after covid he got a treatment then he is a medical professional and he is in he, he working he is working in covid ward itself so he was in stress he was uh, managing the covid patients and in and out he was lot of uh, pressure and what you call then we did second uh, cycle he came after antibiotics and uh, his igg igm has come down then he came for uh, second cycle for shocking we what we have seen severe oligo astino teratozoospermia after post covid i said i told my assistant it is not his sample i said his he said no then i told him doctor you uh, collect another sample then he got another sample then i said i will my, i will myself check then we, I saw severe oligo as you know, terato. Typical terato with poor morphology, no acrosome, dummy heads, and um, fragmented heads. Typical characteristics of terato. Typical. Then we did, then we, we gave some time. Then after one month, he, he took some antioxidants and some commercial formulas then he came and we did a collection and some improvement was there the count is improved the uh, the the motility has increased now the morphology is almost two percent we did case now the result is in front of us what i found is the covid has affected his sperm quality and it is a severe DNA damage to his sperm quality and the embryo quality what I am showing to show you is after post COVID he got single oocyte this is the embryo quality of post COVID So the bottom now now I will clear uh, I will I will close my video so I will not expose much we got failed fertilization and we got severe fragmented embryos now now the concluding point is we have not we have not done this much research on post covid uh, repercussions and effect of post covid uh, on on in now i can say in as a embryologist the the covid post covid or covid uh, infection may cause uh, infertility problems in lot of patients and impotency and there is lot of dna damage on uh, sperm quality vice versa the wife may have the effect of uh, covid because of that also maybe her her uh, there might be some dna damage from her side also if she has a if she has tested positive there might be double combination of infection then uh, followed i mean subsequently they they got a poor quality embryos okay thank you guys god bless keep fit have a good health and put a healthy food and keep your 
health. Perfect. Thank you very much. God bless.